Hi, I'm Jivy, and ever since I started this channel, people would ask me what they should draw. So here are six ways to help you find art suggestions when you don't know what to draw. Also known as art block, or what I like to call it, art fart. Let's start with a common one. The first suggestion is doing fan art. If there's a show, movie, book, or even a picture that you like, try drawing the characters or backgrounds based on those things. When I started this channel, I wanted to post content almost every day, but it was hard for me to even think about what to draw. So I drew fan art from shows I was watching at the time, like Hasbun Hotel and Jujutsu Kaisen. Besides drawing in the original creator's vision, there are a lot of ways to do fan art. For example, you can fuse two characters together and or do a crossover like I did with these two, Alistair and Gojo. You can also try drawing different poses, different color palettes, gender bending, etc. Here's a list of some things you can do, which you can screenshot for later. If you want a fan art suggestion now, feel free to draw Jivy Cat anytime. Number two is doing social media art challenges and trends. This is probably one of my favorite ones to do since I really like seeing other people's art and it's a great way to connect with other creative people. There are all kinds of art challenges on the internet. Some are hosted by artists like draw this in your own style challenges or create a new OC challenge. Some are challenges people are doing themselves which you can emulate like I'm drawing three monsters for 30 days. I usually find all kinds of art challenges on Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. And personally, I like doing the draw this in your own style challenges from Instagram and doing art trends from YouTube. But more recently, I'm starting to do more of my own challenges for other people to do, which you can start doing too. Number three is one I tried for the first time this year, which is a website called Art Fight. It's an annual thing where everyone uploads their original characters and draw other people's OCs. The reason it's called Art Fight is because there are two teams and when you draw characters from the opposing team, you gain points for your team. You can also draw OCs from your own team, which is called a friendly fire. And there's more to it, but that's pretty much the gist of it. And the teams this year were Seafoam and Stardust. I was on Team Seafoam and drew this friendly fire attack, which is the only attack I did because I kind of procrastinated a bit too much. Number four is redrawing your older art, which does require you to have drawn before. So this might not help much if you're just starting out. Besides recreating your old art the exact same way you did during the initial creation, you can try different poses or color them using different color palettes. Recreating your art in a new medium can also be fun. So maybe your art was done traditionally, now you can try digital, animation, or a different traditional medium like clay or paint. You can also try expanding the world of your art, like if you had an OC, you can give them friends or create backgrounds to flush out the world of your character. There's a lot you can do with an old idea, and sometimes expanding on them can make them even more meaningful. Suggestion number five is to look for an art book, specifically ones that spark inspiration for you. It'll be different for each person, but some of my suggestions are drawing prompt books and how to draw books. Drawing prompt books tell you what to draw, so you can pick a prompt that you like and start drawing. Like this one. I had this for years, but unfortunately I didn't really draw on it. Sometimes I would pick it up and sketch a couple things, but I wouldn't really draw much. Either way, I still like to have it on hand, just in case. I also like how to draw books, so when I don't feel like creating, I can still draw, but in a more constructive way. Finally, number six is to ask people like friends, family, and strangers on the internet, like me. But I'll send you this video or say ducks. Always ducks. I do a live stream called Do The Page where I draw people's suggestions until I fill out the page. A lot of time it's fan art, but I do get some unique ones where I end up making something new and different. I do recommend asking people who would be open to giving suggestions because some people may feel bothered or uncomfortable with it. But there are a lot of people out there who enjoy art and would love to see their suggestions come to life. That's all that I have and I hope these suggestions help. Thanks for watching, like, comment, create, and I'll see you next time.